Hello and welcome, it's me, Marls44, and welcome back to another Card Fight Vanguard Criteria Deck Profile. Today's deck profile, we have the, uh, Punisher of School. <laughs> I don't know, School Punisher, Leopold Reverse. <laughs> so, um, yeah, with, uh, the release of, um, the Stride stuff, uh, and some stuff in Fighters Collection, um, this deck is, uh, a lot better, um, Leopold Reverse, um, Leopold normally being a strong deck, actually, uh, but the deck is a lot better now, and, uh, definitely, um, something to be reckoned with, and with the support it has of, well, Limit Break Removers, and just what the Stride can do, and some other stuff, and combos it's got, so, yeah, anyways, let's jump right in, so, Let's go get our starter. Our starter is, um, right. I don't have to scroll a lot for this one. So, Pencil Koala, pretty standard starter. Uh, amazing card. Just, just great. Powering up something and then drawing a card and retiring it. So, awesome card. Great starter. Better than all the other great nature starters. Done. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Let's jump out our grade threes. Um, so, we have four. School Punisher Leopold Reverse. What he does is limit break four. Um, choose one of your Great Nature rear guards and lock it. Choose up to two of your Great Nature rear guards, and those units gets power plus four thousand and auto rear guard at the end of your turn. Retire this unit and auto during your end phase when this unit is put into the drop zone from rear guard circle. Call it to an open rear guard circle until end of turn. Um, and then its other skill is if you have it. If, oh, it's other skill as if the normal Leopold is in the soul. He's 13k, so, yeah. Pretty sweet card. Um, You know, you want to play four of this and four of the original one because it's, uh, well, it, it, it <laughs> it's a Leopold deck, so it's all about the Leopold, so it's uh, Leopold focus. <laughs> so, pretty nice card. Uh, pretty good card. And then we have four, Skull Hunter Leopold. Um, What he does is limit break four. Um, kind of boss one, during your end phase, when one of your great nature rear guards is put into the drop zone, you may pay the cost. If you do, call that card to an open rear guard circle. And, uh, its other skill is when this unit attacks a vanguard, choose another of your great nature rear guards, and you may have that unit get power for plus 4,000 on a turn. If you do at the beginning of your end phase, retire that unit. So, just a strong card for, uh, you know, giving up pressure and everything. And I mean, as I said, you gotta play both Leopolds and. He's the guy who makes your reverse cross ride. So, yeah. Just a great card to play in the deck. Gotta play it. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. So we have uh, four Crayon Tiger. You know, your crazy Crayon Tiger that powers up cards and three stands them. And, uh, um, this is actually a very big, like, rushdown deck, unlike the other version, like Big Belly, where, uh, like, you put on a lot of pressure from the get-go with this deck, whereas Big Belly, you wait till grade 3, and that's when you go crazy. Um, so, yeah. But Crayon Tiger, just a really solid card to just add on so much more pressure. And then we have 4, Sleepy Tapir. So, very strong card of um, continuing adding the pressure. Really not a lot to say about it. Just, like, you use this a lot during your early game to just add on pressure and you know, gain what you want from losing that one card. Um, and you can still draw a card from it thanks to Pencil Koala, maybe. Oh, wait, no, you can't. Never mind. <laughs> G-break, man. G-break. Think about it. <laughs> I'm not thinking. Anyways, we have two set Squire Penguin. Um, you can play one of these if you want, but I prefer two in the deck. What he does is Generation Break 1. During your main phase, when this unit is placed on uh, rear guard, choose one of your other rear guards, and until end of turn, it gets auto during your end phase. When this unit is put in the drop zone from rear guard, draw a card, choose a card from your damage zone, turn face up. So, yeah, he's basically a damage unfilter, and you get to draw a card, so he's really solid for that. Um, you can play one if you want, but I think two is a lot better, because it does guarantee you one per game, and it's pretty nice to have in this deck, especially with how many counter blasts you kind of use, because um, you do use... Right, a few. Um, and then we have one Binoculus Tiger. So if you know, you play one of the Penguin, you play two Binoculus. You, it, it depends. If you want to play one Binoculus and two of the Penguin, go ahead. 
Um, but yeah, Binoculus Tiger. Uh, you only play one of him, or two of him, depending on what you want. But you play him because you know you want to add on extra pressure early on. And uh, even though he's not like the other two, he's not as good as the other two cards that give the four thousand. He's still huge on just adding the extra four thousand, giving off a lot more pressure. Um, so moving on to our good ones. So we have four contradictory uh, instructor, Shellmaster, your damage on flipping perfect guard. Pretty simple. And then we have four single-minded assistant mini belly. Um, so your four stry enablers. And then we have three duck bill. So a pretty standard. You could play four if you well. You don't need four of them uh, because you do have the penguin as well. Two of those guys, um, which is very very helpful and. Uh, he does bring on the added extra draw, so you have five cards to get that draw power off of how much pressure you add on. So, uh, definitely need three of them. Pretty nice. And then we have three pain otters. Your limit break remover, a uh, very very important card to continuously add pressure, even when you don't have stride, because you can just continuously add pressure. You can add pressure early on if if even you are the first one to ride into grade three, because you can use Leopold's skill to. You know, get a copy of a card. Uh, sorry, no, bring the card back, sorry. Um, get a copy of a card to someone else. Um, but to bring the card back after you've boosted it so much with Binoculus Tiger and everything. Um, so yeah, really good card to have. You really have a break remover. And then let's move on to the triggers. So four Ruler Chameleon and four Cutter Falcon. So eight crit and then four Protector Tan. So He's basically the same thing as uh, really Chameleon, except uh, he has G-Break instead of non-G-Break. Um, but he does the exact same thing. Now, it's odd that I'm running 4 crit, uh, sorry, 8 crit 4 stand, but uh, you want to run 8 crit 4 stand in this deck. Um, because for one, you draw enough for how much pressure you're putting on. Like, you put on so much pressure and rack up so much power on one card. Um, and then you draw some stuff off of it, um, so you, honestly, you really don't need the draw for how much pressure you're putting on, on top of the factor of the stand can really, really help and just add to it, um, because you can add more power onto it or get it to restand one or the other, depending on how you attack, um, or normally it's add more power onto it, but, uh, still, it makes it kind of crazy, and also with Paul Reverse, uh, the stand is very helpful too because um, how Leopold Reverse works, uh, the stand works pretty well with it, honestly, um, with him. So uh, that is why I run a crit four stand. You can run a crit four heal uh, if you, I mean, a crit four draw if you want. But then, if you want to run the draw, I'd recommend uh, rainbow triggers. Rainbow triggers then, but yeah, a crit four stand, and then we have four broadcast rabbit, so four heal, a crit four stand, four heal. Um, yeah, as I said, run rainbow triggers if you're not okay without running draws, um, because that stand is pretty important, honestly. Um, and then moving on to our um, stride units, we have f four school hunt, uh, school special investigator Leopold Chaser. What he does is when this unit attacks a vanguard, uh, if you have a hard card with Leopold and his card name, choose one of your rear guards, and until end of turn, it gets power plus four thousand and auto rear guard. At the end of your turn, retire this unit and auto during your end phase. When this unit is put into the drop zone from rear guard, choose your deck, uh, search your deck for up to one card with the same name as that unit. Reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. So, yeah, he basically just gets you. He was the one I was thinking about, not uh, normal Leo, but he basically just gets you the card back from your deck, and he helps thin out your deck and everything as well, which is always really, really nice in a deck and very. And very very good. Um, so yeah, he helps you thin out your deck, and also he's just a very very strong card. Um, so yeah, kind of got to run four of these. Um, just super strong, and helps make the deck ridiculously aggressive. Uh, even when you stride, if you have nothing to draw off of it, you'll go even. So basically, in this deck, you'll go even at best, pretty much. So. It's pretty ridiculous, but yeah, just crazy strong. And then we have four Ominous Dragon Magamar. So, you know, your really strong card of your really, really strong stride unit, um, your other stride unit, and just super powerful. Um, 
I'm sure you all know how strong this card is. I, I explained it in my big belly deck profile, and man, this card's a beast. Um, so yeah, just really strong deck. And yeah, uh, that's about it for this deck profile. Uh, honestly, this is a very, very powerful deck, uh, adding on tons of pressure in just a few turns, and it can end games really quickly with how big it adds on pressure and everything. Um, it's a super pressure-heavy deck, um, and Leopold and Leopold Reverse definitely work really well with it. it I mean, it's centered around them, but, uh, you know, it works really well with them. So, um, yeah, that's about it, and I hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. Uh, deck list in the description below, as always, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see more videos from me, on the left, there are Let's Play videos, so you can go and check those out. And if you guys aren't up for that, on the right, there are Cardfight Vanguard videos, so you can go and check that out. And if you're still not up for those, I have Super Smash Bros, Pokemon, and a Versus series on my channel, so you can go to my channel and check that out. Also, down below is my review channel, where I do reviews, countdowns, game chats, which is like a podcast, and more. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Skype, all listed at the top there. That is all. Hope you guys enjoy.